The mayor of Providence is weighing in on the state police cocaine bus dubbed Operation Deception. Three of the city's police officers were arrested Thursday on drug charges and on Friday, four additional officers were pulled off the street and assigned to administrative duty. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DiPrato has more from the mayor and the latest developments from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Providence Mayor David Cicilline says these allegations shake the public trust in the department. And court documents reveal these officers not only knew about the drug dealing, but sometimes even participated in it. Two counts of Three Providence police officers have been arrested in a drug sting and four narcotics officers are on administrative duty in a scandal that has rocked the police department and city. Mayor David Cicilline at a St. Patrick's Day parade acknowledging public confidence in the department has taken a hit. The behavior of these three individuals has broken the trust with the public. The behavior of this, these three officers is egregious. They should be punished to the full extent of the law if they're convicted of these crimes. Arraigned in court Friday, 44-year-old Joseph Colanduano, a narcotics detective assigned to the Drug Enforcement Administration. He is being held without bail. 33-year-old Robert Hamlin, a school resource officer, is also being held without bail. And 47-year-old Stephen Gonsalves, a sergeant and former driver for Mayor Cicilline, is out on bail. Investigators say all three worked to protect an illegal drug business that generated tens of thousands in profits. State police say the mastermind of the drug operation was 28-year-old Albert Hamlin, the younger brother of Officer Robert Hamlin. Bill Lynch, who is campaigning for the U.S. Congress along with Cicilline, says he hopes the probe into the Providence Police Department doesn't grow wider. Certainly hope that it's you know limited to a few offices. Uh, I mean, obviously, most of the police officers, men and women that I know in Providence and around the state, are honest. State police busted the three officers after a four-month investigation. The officers' cell phones were tapped, and police say there could be more arrests. Why the four officers remain on administrative leave is not clear. Several phone calls made by Eyewitness News have not been returned. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Alex DiPrato, Eyewitness News.